Główne Centrum Prasowe Mundialu w Katarze. Po meczu Polski z Arabią Saudyjską wybraliśmy się tutaj, by zapytać dziennikarzy z całego świata o to, jak oceniają reprezentację Polski i jakie dają nam szanse na wyjście z grupy przed meczem z Argentyną. Bo przecież jak nas widzą, tak nas piszą, a widzą nas różnie, o czym za chwilę się przekonacie. I'm pretty confident, yeah, that, that Poland can, can go through, yeah. Robert scores his first goal yes. yesterday. Yes. And I think he will score against Argentina. So, draw is possible. They're more scared of you than you should be scared of them. We have two clean sheets, we have four points. So, for me, it's not that bad. I think it's an accident. Uh, it's, ve it's a very, very boring team, yes. really. Uh, it's a little bit like France in the last, uh, at the last uh, World Cup. But, uh, but Poland uh, doesn't have got uh, Mbappé or Griezmann. And Lewandowski finally got his World Cup goal, which is obviously very good. And I think if he's on form, then Poland can, will definitely get through the group. Poland is a little bit dependent, <laughs> dependent on Robert Lewandowski to, to score his goals. I don't see how Poland can go further than uh, the, the first uh, this, those three games. I, really? If, if Poland uh, goes mm, to the, the last uh, the last 16, it's a very, very uh, a great performance for them, really. <laughs> Because uh, in Poland we have Lewandowski and it's over. Uh, Poland showed a very strong defense and that's an answer to those that say that this is a one-man team with only <laughs> only with Robert. Maybe that's important for Poland and for the success of Poland so that Robert can now say that he has scored at the World Cup but uh, I still say that offensively it's it's, it's a lot a burden for uh, for Lewandowski to always be there to score. We have seen it against Mexico especially that the defense is strong and can support a pressure, a lot of pressure. So I, I think that Argentina is not, uh, the mindset of Argentina is not uh, 100%. So I think the, the strength of the defense of the Polish team can explore that, that factor for the game. Style, I, I don't think so. It's a little boring, but the first game I watched was, it was pretty, it was pretty boring. The first game was really boring. Match games was boring, yeah. this World Cup, yes. Croatia game, I'm from Croatia, <laughs> very boring, very boring, first game. I think you have some potential, potentially good players, uh, Zielinski and uh, Milik and uh, Lewandowski and uh, Zalewski and uh, I would like to see them all play together. The defense, very impressive. Uh, you've got to say against Saudi Arabia it was tough. Are very tough for a lot, to, a lot of the games. Zielinski scored against the run of play. They were pushing in the second half. Big saves as well from Szczesny throughout. And then Lewandowski saw, uh, scored. So great to see him score for the first time after you know four games without the emotion was, was amazing to see. So I think the first game tactically was a bit interesting because the team was a bit an hybrid. Uh, Cash was sometimes uh, right back, sometimes third central back, and the team was uh, going to, to uh, how do you say, they bend it to the left. Uh, but uh, if it doesn't allow Milik to play with, with Lewandowski, I think it's a bad idea. Because if you have two strikers like those two guys, that's such a, a powerful force, uh, it's a pity they don't, uh, they don't take advantage of it. Um, and the search for the balance in the team, it's, it can be a problem because uh, if you don't score goals, you don't win games. Controlling the possession is not your style, you don't have a lot of uh, controlling midfielders, but you're scary on the counter-attack. You have two players who can score from anywhere on the pitch. Lewandowski on a good day, he can score a hat-trick. I was at the Argentina game yesterday and I think it will be hard for Poland to, to, uh, to win. But if they can draw, then that would be a success, I would say, because in the second half, uh, Argentina was uh, was very strong against Mexico, I would say. I think there's a very good possibility. You have Adru Milik and uh, Lewandowski with Piotr Zelensky behind them. It's going to be very hard to beat. They're very good attacking players, but defensively, there's better teams. Midfield, there's better teams, so it depends. Argentina's midfield is not that amazing. Their defense is old and tired. We saw yesterday in the match the changes changed. The t Enzo Fernandez changed the match. So if they're on a bad day and Messi is not having a good day, Poland could actually go go up and win the game. I think I think you'll get a draw. Like they didn't look great last night. 
they didn't look that good against um, Saudi Arabia. So I think if all you need is a draw, you're set up for a draw. And I think you've got enough players at the back. You've got Chesney and goal. I think you'll be fine. I'd be confident if I was you. <laughs> but yeah. Yesterday, Lautaro Martinez did nada. Uh, until, uh, what's his name, from uh, Manchester City came on and he changed the game, Julian Alvarez. And it depends, if they have a bad day, you can win easily. And a draw, it gets you through. It could be a good game, it's going to be a really good game. Both teams have nothing to lose, everything to win, and they're going to play all out. If Poland play against a team that's, you know, really going to press, really going to play, you know, it is hard to see how they're going to come through. It's been Mexico. It's not a good Mexico's team, Saudi Arabia, where it was a good, strong performance. Um, but we'll see against Argentina. I think that's going to be a real test against an Argentina side that has to win and against a Poland side that, of course, can do with a point. But going forwards in the tournament, are we going to see something like maybe Portugal in 2016, where they drew, 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 and then started getting a little bit of rhythm? You know, because when you have attacking players like Zielinski and, and Lewandowski, anything's possible.